Hey guys, guess where I'm going right now? Oh! I'm driving to the beach to see where's the balance of 41. I'm so excited. Oh my god. I wanted to leave. Okay, so I was like, let me go over for the shirt and the pants I'm wearing. I'm like, where are they? They're like, my good pants and my good shirt. That bumblebee is huge. Um, was they, all over? they were in the bottom of my hamper. So again, I had to wait for laundry to be done. I want to leave at noon and it's two o'clock. Anyway, it's fine. I'll get there at like two fifty probably. Anyway, I'm so excited. <laughs> Catherine called me and then I called her back. And now she's not answering anyway, so this happened. Oh, can you hold on? So this happened. Oh! Now she's calling me. So, why? What is going on? So, uh, apparently Catherine likes Sub 41, is very angry that, that I didn't tell her that they were here. So now she's coming! So she's gonna go meet me in line after I eat my sandwich. <laughs> Guys, I see people! Because the buses are packed at the back of the venue where the parking lot is. I can't tell who they are. They might just be like merch guys or something. Oh, what if I just beat Pierce the Veil? Oh, ah, oh, my heart hurts already and I haven't even seen the show yet.
Don't make me drop my phone, it's already. That was amazing. That the best show I've been to, for sure. Chapel was awesome. Uh, their drummer is amazing. I don't think I'm gonna check them out. Amorosa was cool. He was interacting with the crowd so much. I literally was like this close to the lead singer man. I don't know his name. Um, everything was pretty chill. You know, kind of just like ooh for Chapel and Amorosa. And then Stone Forty One came on. Holy heck! They really got the crowd moving. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to use this to like light my face. Is it working? They... <laughs> it was just... I mean, it was crowd surfing, moshing, everybody was jumping around. It was so much fun! Oh my gosh! Derek was right there! Wah! Oh my... It was amazing. Uh, I made friends with the people next to me. Between uh, Sum 41 and Pierce Vale set. What the girl, I don't know, it's between. No, no, yeah. Uh, but anyway, what the girl who, like, in front of me that I made friends with, she got pulled up onto the stage for all of Sum 41 set, which was pretty amazing. She looked so happy, y'all. She's such a cute bee. Oh my god. And then, so we waited a while for Pierce Vale, you know, whatever. And it, I, I thought Sum 41 was crazy. Damn! Oh my god! Pierce the Veil was amazing! Oh my god! And Jaime smiled at me! And Vic was so close! And Tony was a normal beat and Mike was just having so much fun on the drum! Oh my god! Oh. Anyway, I think I sweat off all of my makeup. Oh no, the eye makeup is still there. But yeah, we got so hot and sweaty. I got multiple limbs to the face. I think my lip is bleeding. Um, I, I got a shoe straight to the nose, so that hurts a little bit. But it was awesome! Oh my god, it was amazing! Ah! Oh, and I got, um, I'm sure I got the merch table. They had a bunch of shirts, and they had CDs, but... I really only wanted to spend $30, and I wanted a t-shirt, and I really want to collide with the sky, because I don't have that one. And, uh, but, I wanted to spend $35, and if I had gotten a CD, it would have been $40, and I was like, my parents were coming. So, what I got was the tour shirt, which is upside down. Oh, it's so soft. Oh my god, it's so pierced the veil! It hasn't even, like, it doesn't even seem real! Like, what? Um, I got the tour shirt. Has there, let's see if I can find Hampton. Oh, there it is! Ah! 517 Hampton Beach, New Hampshire! Actually, this is the first. Yeah, this is the first alternative show I've seen in my home state. I usually have to go to Maine or Massachusetts. Um, and I got these! Which, of course, I'm gonna put on my backpack. This one's upside down, it's bothering me. But look! Oh, look! <laughs> They're so adorable, their pins. I'm so excited. I want to get this tattooed somewhere. We yeah, have the logo, Pierce the Bell, the detonate thing, and then this. This would be cool to get tattooed as well. So those are the two things I got. Um, they played all of my favorite songs except Bastidos. I really wanted them to play Bastidos. Because that's just that thing. I can't guitar thing. But that's the only one that I, it was just. Oh my, they played Bulls in the Bronx, and Circle- Wait, did they play the Divine Zero? I don't think so, because I would remember screaming now and becoming a work of art. Damn. I, <coughs> my brain is just like, wow! Um, I didn't catch anything. Um, the two girls next to me got Mike's drumsticks. There's people pointing at me, they're walking past. So I'm sitting in my car with my lights on. Uh. Don't at me. Yeah, walk away. Oh, I got someone kicking really hard in the ear and my earrings like booped into me. I wonder if I... Okay, all my earrings are still there, but that really hurt. Because I like felt like my earrings got torn out. The mosh pit was literally like behind me. Like there was like barricade, a person, me, mosh. And I was just kind of like, no! I didn't get, um... 
got pulled into it though. Like, a lot of people, um, like two or three people got kicked out. One for fighting and two for I don't know what else. But the guards were like, get out, you out. It was really scary. And I just really hope that I never get kicked out by a security guard. Um, where was I? I was there. I, I had a point. I was, there was, I was around something there. Oh, yeah. So I didn't catch anything. Um, I was so close to Vickenheim that, oh my gosh. Uh, and then uh, we walked down to the beach to cool off because it was so freaking so. Like, literally, everything was just wet and I smelled horrible. And we were all just wet and sweaty all over each other, but it was amazing. And it's like, as funny as it sounds, like, I've never felt like like in a safer place. You know what I mean? Like, in there with all these people, just being sweaty and having fun and, and singing along. It's just, it, it, it's just like a feeling of safety, even though I'm getting like kicked in the face. It's a weird thing. I mustn't be the only one that feels that way. And then, then um, I got away to the merch line and Catherine and her boyfriend uh, went down to the beach. I'm starting to get any of them in the vlog. We got separated after uh, 741. Well, during 741. I somehow ended up at the barricade and they ended up at the, you know, the back. I don't know. So I walked down to the beach and there was just this moment where like I walked out of the venue just like on like a high. I'm still on a high. And there's like a bar next door. There's just like a jam band playing. Uh, and it was, what were they playing? I think it was Don't Fear the Reaper. But like the Blue Oyster Cult version, not Pierce Cult version. And I just walked across the street, down to the beach, walking to the sand, and I could just like hear the ocean, and I just felt like really happy. And I could hear just like the music trailing out of the bar and walking in the sand after being all hot and sweaty in the cool night air. And I just felt so happy. Like I haven't felt that happy in like a really long time, and it was just so amazing. <laughs> And then, like, I walked out to the water, and I had my feet in the ocean. I just turned around and looked at all, like, the lights, and I just felt like I was in San Diego. I can't really miss it. That was just amazing. Like, I can't even, I can't think of any other words. I've already been talking about it for eight minutes. I'm sorry, this is probably an extra long concert vlog. But that was, that was, I mean, it's all bringing me to the horizon. And that was, like, kind of, that was, like, overwhelming. And, like, it was such a large venue. And like, you know, Matt was way over there, Jordan was way over there, Lee was right over there, and like Ollie and the, uh, like they were way over there. Like it felt kind of far away, like I was still just kind of like watching it on the computer screen. It's just, it's a really small venue, and they were all so, like I could just go like this and see everybody at the same time. And it was just so like, I don't know, I can't even make words right now. I don't know, just to see like people that I look up to. Like that close and and doing what they love to do it makes me want to do what I want to do love to do I don't know I just feel really inspired and whatnot oh my gosh it's because it's also very late it's almost midnight I need to go home I'm starving now I'm 100% stopping at a McDonald's as is after concert tradition so if I don't talk again after McDonald's just know that that was amazing and I highly recommend all the bands that played, like if Chapel's playing a show near you, go. If Emerose is playing a show near you, go. If Pierce the Veil's playing, go. If there's some point one that's playing, go. They were all amazing. And as far as like like bands uh, together on a tour, it was it just really was really well put together. And I'm very happy that I went. Thanks parents for letting me go for my graduation present. That was just so amazing! Ah!